You're dating a girl and she asks you, do you think my friend looks better than me? And she does look better than her. Lie. Lie. No, nah, no. Nah, nah. Well, if I think <laughs> a friend looks better than her, then maybe I should be dating a friend. Like, right. I, uh, <laughs> oh, I agree. Uh-huh. What's up, what's up? It is lip service. I'm Angela Yee. I'm Stephanie Santiago. I'm L'Oreal. Jadena, that's your spot. <laughs> <laughs> and I am Jadena. What's up, y'all? What's up? <laughs> Listen, hey, we're all at home, and he just said he just had the bubble guts. He did. Aw, oh, and uh, good up. Don't toss his there's salad. This, there's this cool coffee. Wow. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I said don't. <laughs> yeah, it's more like toss the coffee. They got this cool little coffee shop that's still open. Why? I don't know, but. It's um, essential. I is it really? Mm-hmm. Well, my juice bar is still open. That's considered an essential. I guess food places, yeah. as long as you take it to go, things like that, yeah. they can still stay open. Yeah, your juice bar is like legit essential though. Like <laughs> any anything with health products right now is essential. So right. Thank you. Yeah, so no, and we are appreciative of that. So, and we're appreciative of you, Jadena. We saw you've been doing all kinds of fun things online since this coronavirus pandemic has started, you know, just making sure you stay in touch with people. Yeah, I mean, I, as soon as this, this shit hit, I knew like, okay, this is gonna be a while. A lot of people was like, yeah, we're gonna be out for a few weeks. I was like, nah, it's gonna be a few months at right. least, and it's gonna affect everybody you know especially as artists we have to find new ways to connect we don't got events we don't have festivals we can't tour for at least a year so i was like all right let me uh let me be more active online than ever before and everybody's doing their finding their ways Mm -hmm. you have these characters that you have too um you then broke out the afro (laughs) you then broke out a boston accent (laughs) yeah 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 and you have done a lot of uh, some acting do you have anything coming up in the future that you may be uh doing a little bit more acting on so i got stuck in la because which is a great place to be i'm right i'm glad and grateful i'm here but i came for auditions so, no way. Uh, but a lot of them obviously have not mm-hmm. transpired in like the last two months. Wow. Um, so, I, so I was like, you know what? I got all these characters from being around different neighborhoods mm-hmm. my whole life. And so Chief and Company is a show where we, we, me. <laughs> er, 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 <laughs> me and other characters. Me and me. And me, and me, and me guys. Me and me. Yeah. So Charlie, Char- <laughs> it was uh, Suggy Joe. Mm-hmm. Um, he's obviously a '70s guy. He was actually wearing this this vest I got for my homie. Um, and the second character was Charlie Osiris, which is like mm-hmm. a Boston hotel. Uh, he's from. The thing about Boston, people don't really black and brown people don't talk the way like all the Wahlberg films sound like <laughs> at all, <laughs> unless they live in the suburbs. Right. What, so so I I because that accent is funnier. I was like, all right, you nailed it. <laughs> Let me take a Boston suburban black person and make him a hotep. You know what I mean? Because it just doesn't, <laughs> that's not usually how hoteps talk. How do Brooklyn uh, people talk? Brooklyn people? Mm-hmm. Where, where, where in Brooklyn? Uh, let's say Best Eye. <laughs> I, I bet I'm not going to do no Best Eye because I'm, I'm, for, I, I live in East Flatbush. So, that's um, I'm, I'm right, Flatbush. Flatbush. There you go. Let's do I'm a Flatbush accent. Home. Yeah, you know what I mean? Flatbush, you know, <laughs> you know how shit is out here, you know, you know, you know, but that shit, that shit busting, you know what I mean? It's just, <laughs> everything's here. It's like, it's, it's, it's more calm because we in the bush, like Flatbush zombies. It's just, it's, it's all like, at least where we are, it's all the weed, the weed dealers, the weed heads that <laughs> people is low key. Cause I'm in the thirties. When you start going to nineties, it's near Brownsville. <laughs> It's a whole different like the the, the 90s is bit like that's so deep that nah, that's you really you hit get, like, drill music <laughs> right now like that's that's why drill music is coming out of certain spots it's where it's least gentrified right. and that's why you get like it's like motherfuckers really doing drill shit right now it's not they're so deep in it it's like they didn't, they ain't even been on the internet like the way they talk is like wow like it, it it reminds me of old New York, and I appreciate mm-hmm. it so much. Like we haven't had nothing like that for years. 
Well, we also appreciate always hearing your music on Insecure. We know you had the song Feng Shui that came on last night's episode. And yeah. we are big, big fans of the show as well. So is your place- is fire. Yeah, yeah is your- <laughs> Explain Feng Shui to people like what it is for people who don't know about like energy and stuff. Yeah, and your, what, what's her name? Uh, Marie Kondo? Is that her last name? Y'all know what I'm talking about? The um, she I want to believe I believe that she's from Japan. I know she's East Asian. And she has a show on Netflix about tidying up your spot. Y'all know what I'm uh, talking about, no? I haven't seen it. Me neither. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, but you're yeah, gonna need it. Um, let me write it down. Because this, this is this is a great time for people to figure out how to clean up their energy. But go uh, ahead. Okay. Um. So feng shui is this idea that if you clean up your space and kind of be more of a minimalist, especially with furniture, then there's a natural airflow and a natural flow in your place that will create life in your environment. But I was using it in terms of design, like style, how you feel, um, the feng shui, your mind. I, I was taking feng shui out of this furniture and I made this dance record, like an Afro funk mm -hmm. yeah. slash hip hop mm -hmm. dance record called feng shui. Um, it's not like super deep or nothing like that, but it's just for right now, I feel like people just need to be liberated. They need to feel light. They need to feel like they're going outside. I don't know where y'all are stationed, but. I'm in Brooklyn. I'm in Atlanta. In Jersey. Right. I don't mean to interrupt you, but I have to say this. This is the first time that I moved into an apartment. I didn't really rush to um, furnish it. And the energy in here is so it's it's been amazing for me i've had the best luck ever i didn't put a mirror in my bedroom and everything's been going really well oh, <laughs> you think it's because you didn't put the mirror no because i haven't I, I swear my my <laughs> living room is like a photo studio and it's just so airy and i feel like there's the energy in here is amazing so don't fill it up like don't like mm -hmm. no need, I, I think you, you need to watch this something. you need to watch this netflix shit. i really I, I can't i'm blanking on her name but i think i got it right she would she she comes into the space and she like she prays in it in your mm -hmm. own in your house and she comes to the space of like hoarding people so mm -hmm. she comes and kneels down like gives herself to the space and then she just gets rid of all your shit so wow. for you, uh -uh. maybe just put like a plant. <laughs> Angela would die. I, oh, I already know. I'm, I'm a hoarder. I'm a hoarder. <laughs> she is a hoarder. I, 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 I know. I, know. I, I see the bar in the books right there, <laughs> which is clean. But I'm imagining all the stuff that's not in frame right now. <laughs> <laughs> you know what with your record i felt like when even when you put the record on because like i played it and i was playing it like back to back and out of nowhere you just started dancing and i'm like what am i doing right yeah. but like you're you dance right and you're because you had a lot of women that you had dancing on you and that you were dancing with and that was going viral so oh, yeah. um could you have a relationship with a woman that can't dance as well as you Mm, good question. Wow, that's a question. No, nah, I couldn't. Actually. <laughs> she yeah, can learn. Uh, she can learn. There's some a one, thing. one, one. I don't think I'm not like an amazing dancer, but I feel like it's it's kind of like everything, like cooking, right? I I couldn't be with a woman who can't cook, but I could be with a woman who doesn't cook. Okay. Like it's just weird for me as like a human being to not really know how to cook. I don't care if you're into that or not. I, I I'm not one of those guys. Like, even I'm if you're going to do it all the time, at least know yeah, how yeah. to do it. Yeah, yeah, just know it's like a basic thing. Like, well, right. why would you not? What if she's really that? good at ordering food for you and always knows what you like? <laughs> That's Angela's. <laughs> what, what, if she, what if she's really good at Uber Eats? Uh, yeah, what if, she's like, what if she's amazing? Like, I know he's no. going to love this. Put no. this on the no. side. Extra this. That's I'm Angela. <laughs> Angela nah. even does that with us, right, Stephanie? I don't have anybody food, but I can't cook. I can't cook. I That's what I'm saying. You can cook, but you don't. Like, I can cook. I'm not cooking. Like, <laughs> even now, like, I have a meal plan, which is such a, it sounds like the most the most luxurious thing to have mm -hmm. in a global pandemic right now. <laughs> but, but yeah, I, I just don't. With dancing, you have to be able to, like, at least move a little bit. Because then, you know what I mean? I don't know if you can. In the bedroom, what, what yeah. is it? Oh, man. What the fuck? You Why? can't dance. You that. 
But mm-hmm. I don't need you to dance like all the cool dancers. Like Feng Shui, right. I bet you you weren't even like dancing the regular dances. No, we it just like a little two step, little wine. Yeah, yeah that's, that's it. Wine. That's all we need. <laughs> a little something. That's all we need. As long as you can dance in your seat, you're okay. You know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. She don't got a boom cat all over. The place. <laughs> <laughs> One and two and three and four. <laughs> oh, she got a little groove. So okay. If she start popping, that's a little. <laughs> Jadette, I got to call you out on something that you said, okay, about lying. You did admit that you were yeah. a liar, mm-hmm. and a woman asked you about that, and you said I had to, and by the way, it kind of was conflicting, because she asked you about lying, and a liar would have said, no, I don't lie, but you being the honest liar that you are, said I have to let you know, I am going to lie to you. Yeah, I, I, the verbatim, I said... I'm gonna keep it a hundred. I am gonna say a lie to you, like at some point. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying that I'm a liar. <laughs> I'm just saying, or whatever. Maybe I am. I you said you was a manipulator, part. though. Uh, we're gonna oh, get into that. No. Oh. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 easy. Uh, yeah, but every, everybody says, "Oh no," and all of you are. Like that's the funniest thing. <laughs> me, me being a hundred. Me, me being a hundred and saying I'm going to lie is me being honest. Nobody mm-hmm. does not lie in a True. relationship. As soon as you enter a relationship, you're already in a lie because you're like, oh, I'm going to only give my all or only be attracted to you or only want to ever be with you. It's already it's already a lie. Like, look, look, who you call right now? Like, yeah. She's lying to somebody right lying now. Lying to somebody mm-hmm. right now. Mm-hmm. Look at her oh, lying man, I, I couldn't <laughs> tell them the truth. Over. Now, let me tell you, the first line by a master manipulator is always, I'm going to keep it 100. <laughs> so that's a, that's a big as soon as, soon as a guy says lie. that to you, you know there's some type of manipulation coming in. You know what I mean? But but Run. but they but they never say they're gonna lie. Like I, that's the thing. I'm just being. I don't want to. What I'm in a point in life. I don't want to make a promise I can't keep. Okay. So I'm not gonna tell you forever. I'm not gonna lie. There's always little white lies at very least, if not. You know, sometimes it's just, it's just gotta... All right. Well, let's get some examples. Let's just say that you and your lady are out. You guys are already out, right, on a date. Nothing yeah. she could do about it at this point. And she's like, does this outfit make me look fat? And it kind of does, right? You've seen her wear more flattering things for her figure. Yeah. How would you answer that question? I would lie, for sure. <laughs> Like that's a, that's, a, that's a perfect that's a perfect Good answer. answer. Good like answer. there's no way I'm gonna tell her the truth. There's this movie called The Invention of Lying, where like <laughs> it, it, it takes place before humans figured out lie like how to lie, and the shit is hilarious. But people would answer that question like ser- for real and honestly. And it's just not worth it. Like, why would I make her feel that way? Yeah, okay. what's a good way to get her to change before you leave the house? Mm. Stephanie, could you put that on vibrate? I know, I Jesus Christ. Really. It's two of them. It's two of them. Um, it's two of them. Yeah, a good way. A good way to to ha- to mention it. I mean, I think you can be honest in the crib. Like, mm-hmm. you know, you can be like, "Yo, have you? You remember that dress you wore on? You know, our last anniversary." I kind of, I'm, I'm feeling that. Really? Oh, you think I look, yeah, I love that one on you. I just right. love how you can just. And then you hide the other dress. And that, and, and that. <laughs> yeah, right? I don't know where it was. And, 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 spill and, a drink and, on and, her. But that's, that's a good, that's manipulation. Right. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. My thing is, I did it. I tell people this, I, I'm not a liar, but I'm not going to tell on myself. So you just avoid it. Yeah, I'm so a liar. You're, you're a deceiver. You deceive. Yes, but, I'm, but I, I just yeah. like I don't want to tell on myself. So you can't be honest. You can't completely completely be honest all the time. Everybody lies a little something. And mm-hmm. then and then and then there's also where you have to process some shit. So like something happens, you feel kind of way, but you don't know how to approach it. So you end up deceiving the person, not telling them maybe for a week or two, and then you come back and they're like, "Yo, why didn't you tell me in the first place?" And you're like, "Oh, I had to process it." But the whole time process and you weren't telling the person anything. Right. So like this this is what I mean. Like it's it we all manipulate, we all deceive, we all lie. And I don't think it's always terrible. I think this there's, there's a, it's actually a value of mine. There's like right. little white lies and then there's harmful lies, right? There's, yeah, yeah. there's there's levels to this line. So let me ask you this. You're dating a girl and she asks you, Do you think my friend looks better than me? And she does look better than me. 
Lie. Lie. No, no. Well, if I think <laughs> a friend looks better than her, then maybe I should be dating a friend. Like, right. I, uh, <laughs> I agree. Uh-huh. <laughs> like, that I'm what you saying, mentioned like, it. <laughs> she does. Yeah, like, oh, even, Can you give me her number? Because <laughs> I'm like, if if there's... I don't want to date a woman within a friend circle that I'm not most attracted to. There may be a woman who's like traditionally pretty and she looks fly, like great, mm-hmm. cool. But I should be more attracted to my woman than, because otherwise it, it should get messed what up. What if you didn't meet her friend till later though? You know how sometimes you meet a girl and then you like, damn, I should have dated her friend. That is true. That's definitely <laughs> happening. That's definitely happening. Oh, and then what, you re- then you feel bad in your mm-hmm. own mind? But like, you're, you're stuck already. I shouldn't have been at that. I should have waited. <laughs> <laughs> that early, early thought had me. Yeah, nah. Uh, I, you know, whatever. It, it's all good. And also, you know, y'all, y'all know I don't like. I'm open to both monogamy and polyamory. So, mm-hmm. yes, you know. You know. <laughs> there's, there's, there's always a like. You know, nobody. A lot of men are that. nowadays, right? Well, into the it's not just men. It's actually it's women. It's, mm-hmm. it's, and especially in Brooklyn, Brooklyn is where I learned all this shit. Like, Don't try to put that really? on Brooklyn. Really? I ain't learned that in Brooklyn. I learned this in Brooklyn. I'm from there too. I ain't learned that shit neither. <laughs> yeah. uh, where? East Flatbush? <laughs> nah, it wasn't East Flatbush. You know it wasn't no East Flatbush. That's like, that's like Bed-Stuy all the way to Fort, Fort Greene. I can it, see that. East Flatbush and East, it doesn't like Canarsie. They don't know what that fucking word means right now. <laughs> but but in the in the hipster areas, that shit started coming in California and shit, and infiltrating Brooklyn. But I'm telling you, there was a lot of women. Women put me on to this shit. Shit, I, 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 I feel manipulated right now. Because we are being manipulated. <laughs> but what is even your type? I want to know what your type is like. What type of woman you like? Man, it, it 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 varies like, uh, it varies. It depending on the space I'm in. Mm-hmm. Like I, when I was younger, I I, I only dated hood rats for a minute. Like, <laughs> I swear, like if you if you didn't have like a gold tooth and like <laughs> a, a, like seven pack and and hoop earrings with your name in it, I wasn't mm-hmm. dating you. That was that was early on, and then then I got into like the mystic gypsy kind of women that were like would vacuum their house and then bust sage, sage it. out sage, sage it. It mm. while listening to trap music that whole meme <laughs> um that now now and i said this like i've been saying this all week because it's something i really realized recently right now i'm just looking for a kind kind of women like mm-hmm. women in general to me are, are more thoughtful than men but I, I I used to put your sophistication and your street above kindness. And mm-hmm. now I put kindness above those. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you went basically like a mystic kind hood rat. Yeah, I can find all of those things. That sounds, that sounds like a unicorn. Perfect. <laughs> that sounds perfect. <laughs> yeah, actually, that's it. Like, I, I, I would take that any, any day. Like, or even three of them. No, it sounds like you just want to go with the heart. Three is hard. Three is three is hard. I just need her to be in different spaces because like, right. I'm not, I'm not, I don't live in one world. I live in multiple, like I'll get bored. I get bored with women who only know, like if I date like a business professional, corporate woman who talks like this and uses her lips like, you know, like <laughs> that's cool, but I'm not going to be there in that world the whole time. So when we go, to the 90s in Brooklyn, can you, are you okay? Are can you, you still, adapt? Right. Can you adapt? Right. Are you comfortable? I don't need you to are change. Are you calling the police? Talk, but, but, yeah, yeah. <laughs> are you, nervous? Are you nervous? Clutching your purse. <laughs> yeah, you see, you see one firearm, you see some pill, you see something, then you're like, oh my God. Like We're gonna get robbed. Yeah, relax, like, it's okay. And vice versa, like, I can't mm-hmm. take somebody, the, some of the women I used to date, to some of these like galas, they mm-hmm. they just not gonna survive. All right, now let me ask you this: back to the lying thing. Let's just say, right, you're in bed <laughs> with a woman, and she asks you, "Is this the best pussy you ever had?" And it's really not. It's trash. Are you gonna tell her yes? As a matter of fact, you had to fake an orgasm. Oh damn. Oh 
Damn. I don't think how did how did how did, how did, how did the man <laughs> fake you the white white white. He just stops and oh, he no, actually, I know. You no, no, it. No, I know. I know how he does. I know how he does actually. How? He's like, yeah, yeah, nah, yeah. You know, earlier today I had to get it in myself. I had to rub one out before. So, you know, right now, if you see, you know, that's why you don't see nothing coming out of me. But oh I had my workout. god. You never just Ooh. pretended that you came, but you didn't? No. You I never know where it happened. Okay. I, I don't think I don't think men pretend. Like I don't I don't I, I don't guarantee know. you they have they a thousand yes, we've had men on lip service say they fake That's organisms. how they pretend it. Mm -hmm. Damn, I never I never I need to put that in my arsenal. No, I never did that. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's a that's a tool. Okay. No, I mean the best pussy I ever had. I have to tell her that, huh? Yeah. Are you gonna lie or are you gonna tell the truth? Yo, if she put me on the spot, mm -hmm. I might, I might, I might tell the truth. I no, know myself. No, that's no. I, I know, I know myself. I could like, like you're number four. Because after <laughs> I'd be like, ah, and she say something like the best pussy you ever had, I'd be like, ah, uh, <laughs> I mean, I ain't got, I got <laughs> okay. a little foul. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. Define best. <laughs> <laughs> what was the best pussy you ever had? Like, what was the experience like? Do you remember? I was young, yo. I was mm -hmm. a teenager. Like I had a high school sweetheart. She was Jamaican. She was amazing, and um, I think because it was so early, and because it was just yeah, it, it was like euphoria. I'd never felt anything like <laughs> right. that. Like, like I felt scary? like it was like cosmic and shit. Like <laughs> my shit disappears into a woman, and then like I, yeah. So that was, that was the best. But I didn't even know what I was doing then. But it just felt like the best. We were listening to Maxwell and shit. So. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, That's it was sexy, some loving, right? loving basketball. That'll <laughs> 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 make you feel like it's the best, even though it's not just a song. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, no, it was you know, it's terrible, so funny like, because I think terrible. I lost my virginity to that song, and I was probably, like, the best. It, that's I fair. said that was the best sex I ever had at the time, too. <laughs> at the time, if you lost your virginity. This woman's work. Oh, my God. <laughs> when, yeah, did you, it. when did you figure out what you were doing? Like, you know, because it's always that moment when you're like, oh, I've been yeah, kind of whack all this time. It, it took, yeah, it was like 10 years later. Like, it, <laughs> it, it, there's no way. Like, even in, uh, in college, I was like, I was definitely thottish, thottesque. Mm -hmm. in, co awesome. in college, I mean, the, the, the first two years. That, that was my little run around. I still wasn't doing it right. It, it was, <laughs> year, you know what it was? I had to make the transition from mm -hmm. trying to just fuck to serving a woman, like actually focusing on the woman. Like yes. so many, because we grow up on porn, so many of us, we come up and like, we think- It's just like a rabbit. It's a yeah. hammer and a rabbit, like, <laughs> no, nigga, Fucking, like, move literally. slower, mm -hmm. move slower, move your hips, mm -hmm. but, like, think about her, slow down if you need to, because don't come before her, right. just focus, like, my whole mindset right now when I'm with a woman is, I, I, I go far, I imagine chakras in her, like, I, I mm. try to imagine everything uh, uh, about how I can please her, so that, that, that switch took, like, yeah, easily 10 years from being a, a young teenager into my 20s. Because you don't want to be on the blogs now. They'd be like, oh, my God, I had sex with your dinner. It was awful. Like, he can dance, girl, sure, <laughs> but he can't you represent. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> he doing uh, all uh, this. He can grind, yeah. but he can't grind. <laughs> 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 really, really don't believe the hype. <laughs> yeah, that, I mean, that's just inevitable. Somebody's mm -hmm. going to say something. What about the first time you ate pussy? You remember that? Oh my God, I was terrible, yo. I, I, I was, I was wow. I, I'm way better now, but like, then I, I didn't, it didn't know, again, you look at porn and sex ed. So mm -hmm. the way they, what, what they're doing in porn, it just be, it doesn't make sense. Like if I can tell now that those women are probably tickled by the way these guys is going down. Where at some point I'm like, oh yeah, right. that's not. That's not she's like laughing, mom. she's laughing like, but I know she's laughing because it's actually ticklish and not fun. <laughs> she's doing a job, so she's like, I got to keep it together. Um, but this guy is terrible at this shit. Um, I, I didn't like it at first because I also thought, like, 
certain rappers were saying they didn't eat pussy, and then right, you know, Wayne, right. Wayne, Wayne, Wayne really pushed. He pussy loves eating pussy in his and rap. It, and it, it helped me so much. Mm -hmm. So thank you, Lil Wayne. Shout out to Lil Wayne. <laughs> For real. Well, I maybe like it's a few saying, ladies oh, that should be thanking Lil Wayne. Wayne. He's talking about it in all his raps, right? <laughs> That's yeah, he it. Did. He did, because if you look at rappers before then, like, a lot was like, yeah, nah, I don't eat that shit. It was like, nah, I don't go down there. And then she she give me head, but I don't give her head. It, right. was, like, it was like hard mm -hmm. <laughs> to not eat pussy. Uh -huh, and then Wayne made it hard to eat. So it took me a while, and then you know what it is? Communication. Mm -hmm. Communication during the act. A lot of people don't want to. You just, especially if you just meet somebody, it's a little awkward to be like. Right. But all you have to do is like, what you, what do you like, and tell me, tell me, what is this? <laughs> yeah. what, what this you got to push his head down. Huh. Uh, <laughs> Here it comes. Go there. Go there. <laughs> you have to ask, and to, 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 the, to the men that are watching. Um, and the women who've never eaten, you have to ask like what feels good consistently so that you know, because otherwise you're just going to be guessing. Mm -hmm. And then you don't like the person because it wasn't compatible. You feel like it wasn't. But no, it wasn't about compatibility. It was about communication. So if you show anybody or describe somebody how to go down on you, is it less pleasurable, do you think? Like, because I think that it would be like me trying to focus too much, like to the left, to the right, a little harder, right there. Like, instead of somebody that just knows what they're doing. I think that people know what they're doing. It, it, some people know what they're doing in general, but they, everybody is a little different. Like, you, you can't just apply to every single woman. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it may be less pleasurable to you. Maybe you just don't like talking too much because you just want to focus. Right. But if you were <laughs> with somebody new, mm -hmm. you can't, like, and I, and I have no idea what relationship you're in, what your status is now. Well, I'm but if you were with somebody new. See, I hear that. Somebody new. Oh, and, and I'm not thoughting. It's corona. I'm social. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> you know, but there's, there's, five, there's five of us on the show, and we all like getting our pussy eaten different. Right? Am I missing so, someone? Huh? There's four of us. There's four of us oh, on the show. Just kidding. <laughs> this girl. She had that vape. Oh, 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 that vape. Yeah, you you got you all said there's five or there's four. Yeah, we um, all like different things. Yeah, what what are the differences? Um, well, I don't like when people like thrust. I also don't like when people use their finger at the same time. I like it like nice and gentle. I always compare it to like a little kitten lapping some milk out of a bowl. You know <laughs> what? That's how I um, like it. And you're so funny. That's kind of fast. Me, I like it really rough. Like I like to get bit a little bit. Uh -huh suck really hard I'm, I'm psycho yeah no i just i don't mind the finger i like like i like variety I like of things too. but like i you have to eat me out till i come that's for sure i just feel like if you know what you're doing down there because i've never had to been taught how to give head like mm -hmm. nobody ever had to say to me like that's right. not what that's not right do it like this mm -hmm. so no. to me i she feel was like born I, with that knowledge if i i was born knowing how to give <laughs> head born. that's what they say about me they're right. <laughs> that's what they say about me they, <laughs> they do angela and stephanie and Gigi. they always say like i was born knowing how to give head right. but i just look at it like i know i didn't have to be taught so you figure it out too mm -hmm. and like i don't have no problem talking to you later but not while we're having sex like if i'm all talking to bed as far as moaning or like saying your name stuff like that but if it's like i want you to do it like this unless it's like harder when we're like like i'm about right. to come oh what if he's like suck my balls now or you know that's weird to me because i already did it like what do you when we go <laughs> <laughs> here's the thing but do you think it do you think that it's it's easier to like how did you learn how to give head? You studied, you looked at it, you watched some porn. No, like, I okay, I've right. seen porn. I've seen porn, obviously. And I just, what I thought about it, honestly, is like, how would I want to feel? Right. Or how would I want it to feel? If I was a penis. My dick. Like, yeah, so <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, uh, oh, don't. How would I want to feel? Yeah, if I was a penis, how would I want to feel? So my first thing was like, cover your teeth, because you mm -hmm. don't want to scrape the teeth. And then everything else, I feel like just flow. Right, like, yeah. She came out sucking on an umbilical cord. No, you I, see how somebody squirms, like, how somebody squirms. 
worms, how they moan. Like, I feel like you just have to listen to their body. Or no, and yeah, I you feel do. Like, I feel like guys, different guys, like to get their dick sucked differently, too. They yeah, yeah, sure. we, yeah. we do. We yeah, do. And some my, guys want you to, like, use two hands. Some guys want you to just use one hand. One hand, hand someone. Some guys, guys don't know what they want until they it. get it. You get what I'm saying? Like... <laughs> Thing. Here's the thing. I I feel like maybe because uh, a man is more like he's ex- his whole his body parts his privates are out. Wow, is that big? Oh, <laughs> <God. laughs> <laughs> oh, his privates. Are out. That's some hell of a jeans you got on there. It's oh, 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 shoulder. Oh, 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 it's, the Af- it's the African jeans, but. But a woman is inside, you know what I'm saying? She's she, You can't see everything. So I'm wondering, like, because men are studying other men in porn, mm-hmm, maybe right. they can't really see where their tongue is. They can't. They don't right. really do. Other than the kitten licking the bowl. Like, that's pretty, yeah, <laughs> I, I mean, I, I can see that. <laughs> yeah. Minus the rough tongue. You know. but, but when you watch a woman in porn, you can see it. Like everything she's doing, it's all out there in the That's open. That's true. And I wonder if it's a little bit more difficult for us to to learn because we're like, you can't unless you had like this like camera <laughs> right up there true. watching I, every movement of the tongue. But some men are bad listeners. And if we say like it's about mm. listening to the body, I feel like true. they're just I, so busy worrying about what they want to do or like what they think right. is right that they don't, you know, communicate with your body. Because sometimes, sometimes right. that squirm is more like, mm, but they think it's like, ah. <laughs> you can tell the difference if you pay but attention. Me, I don't like the way they eat pussy in porn. They never know what the fuck they're doing in porn. Mm. It doesn't look no. sexy. They're always like, uh, that's not how you eat pussy. It's yeah, not it. The no, women eat pussy better in porn than men do. Yeah, hands down. It's a good way to learn from a woman. Now, on the last episode of Insecure, Issa was upset about the fact that she really like trained her dude Lawrence to be in this new relationship that he's in. Now mm-hmm. he's like a better guy. Was there a woman that trained you, you think, to be the man that you are today? That you Definitely. would give credit to? Definitely. Definitely. I-, I was in a long-term relationship with a woman who who she really shaped me like she took me from my like teenage self into Mm -hmm. young adulthood she she taught me cultural things like just simple shit like I didn't know shit about wine Mm -hmm. I didn't know um like what I should do on a date I was very shy I come from being like a very shy kid and she would take me to events, concerts, which I'd never been to because I was broke. She was paying for the shit. Wow. We would go and she'd be like, yo, you need to put yourself forward. That's the manager right there. That's the green room right there. That's dope. Let's talk to the security, oh, get yourself in there. That's so-and-so, like, you need to meet, you know, if it's like a some OG rapper, like, oh, that's Black Thought right there. Go mm-hmm. talk to him. And Damn, then like, you got no, on and left her. Right. She was like, you better tell, 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 you better that maybe I look at everything like a chemistry experiment. Like some 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 people you just know off the top you're gonna be like this. Other times like you put two substances together, they may chill for a second, but then they boil over over time. Mm-hmm. That's how that that's how we were. Like we we were too similar in certain ways that mm-hmm. at, we we're cool, but when you leave us in the pot too long, <laughs> we're gonna keep butting heads. But like that's 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 the the OG best friend. Like does I, she I meet like your does she meet your new girls? Yeah, she does. Mm-hmm. She does. And she'll tell me, like, what's great is, like, I consult her. I, if she consults me, I consult her. So if she's meeting a new guy she, she, or, or women, I'll be like, yeah, I don't, you know, be careful because you have a habit of doing this. And then she'll tell me, like, yo, don't confuse um, your business practices with your relationship practices. I know how you like to do that. So right. she, she finds, she's like a therapist for me in certain ways, which prevents me from being like this insecure, I need therapy guy and and placing that on a new level. So like Issa and Insecure, sorry, and have you ever um, 
gone back to an ex to for like comfort because it seemed like he got out of or he's having a little bit of trouble in his situation and he's it looks like he's running back to his ex so have you ever ran back to an ex and actually end up going back to them oh yeah I'm, that that's where i'm most savage like I'm, uh -oh. my yeah that's my my fuck ups in life are usually not in the relationship they're in that gray area after the relationship mm. I, i'm 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 such, I'm a determined person. So when shit don't work, I don't get why it doesn't work. So mm -hmm. I'll go back and then, you know, I you get lonely. So you, I'll go <laughs> back and I'll try to, and this is where the manipulation comes in. That's the negative part of it. And I'll reel them in, make them trust like this could work. And I actually do believe it in the moment. Right, but in the moment. But there's, a, but there's a reason why it didn't work in the first place. Right. So it, it, it never works out. And that's where it gets ugly because I'm dating people while I'm trying to reel in, you know, my this old. At least you know what it is. Yeah. Yeah, it's terrible. I don't do this shit no more. Like I'm mm -hmm. done. Like I, I got. I realize I'm really good with black and white shit. The agreement's got to be clear. If it's not clear and it's gray, it's gonna right. get messy. Right. Ladies, how do y'all feel about a guy you're dating being friends with his ex and like best no, friends? No, no, no. It's not happening. I can have sex with any of my exes right now if I wanted to. Hell, no. Um, don't talk to your ex-girlfriend, please. For me, I'm talking about. For me, <laughs> for me, I feel like this. Once, I've had, um, once you've been my ex, we're not friends anymore. That's it. So yeah. why would I let my man be friends with his ex? It doesn't make any sense. Because you're I'm secure. You're secure. If you if y'all was really secure about about the, your partners, you wouldn't be worried about it. I, no, but it's I don't yeah, I, mean, I trust my man. I just don't trust the dirty sluts that he was with before me. You know what I'm saying? Okay. No, I, I get what she's saying. I get what she's saying, but you feel me? I definitely feel you. But I just think just the fact of um just anything like for what are uh, y'all obviously broke up for a reason. It didn't work. So what are you doing? Like if y'all want to be kids together. Yeah, being cordial. If you have a kid together, that's something else. But like being cordial is fine. But as far as like, I feel like being like really tight friends, that's just weird to me. Yeah, and I just feel like maybe and shit. No. Yeah, even a certain level of respect. Maybe if I meet her or something like that, I don't know. But it's just like, what are what are y'all doing? Like, what if she's like married or something already? Oh, that's different. <laughs> but why? Why, why, why is it? It's weird to me that so. For me, I had, I'm not just talking about like women I dated. I'm mm -hmm. talking about women I really had a serious relationship with. If I invested time with them, how am I going to just throw them to the side? Like, because that, that yeah, cause to that. me, that, that's reflective. Yeah, you did that with the relationship. The, that kind of relationship. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to throw, throw them away as friends. To me, it also shows like what he, how that, how that person is, who could be towards you. True. Like, you know what I'm saying? It, you know with me, here's what you get. Here's, here's what you get with me. <laughs> you, know, you know that I'm still going to be good to their families. I still take care of them. I still, like, I'm not going over and holding them in my lap and doing the same things. But at least I'm in touch. I'll still FaceTime them. And I know I know their, their community, their friend circle. I'm not going to just throw them by the wayside because that, that, that relationship meant something to me. So if I'm with a woman now and she sees that, yeah, it may be like, damn, I hope he never goes back. But if she's secure with me, if I'm secure with myself, then then I think that it's all positive. It's, it's not, and she can, I know women that I've I, I've dated who will then ask one of my exes about me, and and, and that's kind of what uh you know you see in insecure, insecure right now. Yeah, yeah, that's a uh, you know. You don't want to hear that story. I it's cool think. though. I'm cool. Oh, I no. actually, want, actually, right now, I want women to know everything about me early on, because eventually, I want to form some sort of union or marriage. And honestly, the, the quicker that we can, we can get through all the trauma the and bullshit. all the shit. That, yeah. yeah, all the bullshit. Like, just know me. Like, no, you can ask her anything. I feel like friends, you know, exes should be enemies because then there's something wrong. There's something. Yeah. There's something bad there. But you know, to be speaking all the time, and I mean, if you see each other, hey, what's up? How you doing? No problem with that. Right. But to have a, a ongoing relationship after you broke up, you might as well have stayed together. Well, what are you worried about, though? I don't think it's what even a worry thing. Girl? Oh, it's not a worry thing. See, well, yeah. so for me, I don't feel like it's necessarily a worry thing.
but I just know, like I said, I know how my exes feel about me or like I've had right. my, like an ex the other day hit me talking about some, I love you. And it's like, I had to block him because it's like, bro, like what if I moved on and had a whole nother relationship and now mm -hmm. my man just seen that on the phone. You get what exactly. I'm saying? I see you telling me you love me. Yeah, that's- but, like, and You know what else I think too? Like I have ex-boyfriends who I'm cool with, but I respect that they're in a relationship and I never want the woman to feel uncomfortable. Right. So I will like set some boundaries where I know like, okay, he's in a relationship. I don't want anybody to think anything. Yeah. I don't want his girl to be upset. So I'll check in, you know, if there's like an event, I might invite you to my birthday party, right. all good. And invite her, you but I'm also not going to be like calling you at midnight. Right. Or I right. just said, well, that makes sense, but you can't control mm -hmm. people actions. So whether they're friends with their ex or whatever, if they're going to fuck, they're going to fuck somebody regardless. True. True. So it's not like I'm going to dive myself in front of a friendship, but I just know about temptations and I know how it is when you know how someone is in the bed or when you're getting lonely and they're there for right. you and being close. It's just the temptation factor. And it's just kind of like, if it didn't work, let it go. And like, sometimes people so, feel so. like it doesn't count if you fuck your ex. They're like, oh, it didn't count. That's not I do that. And like, <laughs> not still to this day. But, but, no, but no, yeah, you know for the longest. Y'all know for the longest <laughs> I've always felt like that. But now, like, I learned my lesson because of a situation that I had where I took back an act but like I used to be like that I used to be like you should have a sex with, I used to give that advice out like you should have sex with your ex at least you're not mm -hmm. adding a body or something like that or you know mm -hmm. whatever but that's not that's not a good way to think because you're still giving your energy to somebody that doesn't deserve it your feng shui your I'll, feng shui your so let me let me ask y'all this though so, so <laughs> let me ask y'all this about the feng shui of of human beings, right? It it do you think that people are hardwired for monogamy? Like I think women, that when, men doesn't I think when people get to a certain age and they and it's like a lot of effort to try to do too much, I think people do I know for myself, like when I was younger, I'll date several people, have a good time. But as you mm -hmm. get older and busier and you want to settle down, I think it's just like the knowing that you have this one person that you have to deal with, it just feels yeah. better to me. I feel you. You get like getting busy is, is a huge factor. Sorry, you you about to say something? No, 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 go, go. No, I mean like, but even with that, you're 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 trying to say that every like this person is enough to satisfy all your needs. Yeah, I feel that way. Also because I just am like. I'm more about being probably comfortable. If I decide to be with you now, then that means that that's something real. When I was younger, I didn't take certain things into consideration. I just was having a yeah. good time. And like, yeah. we could date for two weeks and then you're my boyfriend. Now right. it's like, okay, we have to date for a year before I feel like yep. I take that next yep. step. That's how I am, yeah. For me, once you have sex with me, you're my boyfriend, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> psycho. When we had sex, now you're mine. Now you live with me, come on. Oh, shit. <laughs> no, I feel like I it's feel so like many factors. I feel like God has a very funny sense of humor and he made women more in tune with monogamy and men are like, what, what? I want to be with everybody. Mm -hmm. I don't feel like all men are like that, though. Even not though all men, though. Yeah, I agree. not all men. Some men are more monogamous than we are. Than women. Not yeah. to de not to Jenna, but I'm saying no. some of the people. <laughs> no, no, no. no. I'm actually, I'm great at monogamy. Okay. You know, if I, if so I you can do that. What's the yeah, longest? Mm -hmm. The longest? Eight years. Ooh. Okay. Oh, no, that was yeah. it. Yeah. It was, it was on some, it was like some marriage <laughs> shit. But like, and I never cheated in eight years. Wow, that's amazing. That's, so you yeah. could be so you could be with one person married and no one else and that could be your all uh you know i don't know i don't know i don't know anymore i i do i do know this like when i'm in if i commit in monogamy i do not cheat like i've never cheated in my life i don't and i don't think i i would but but when i think about marriage long term until death do us part that's that just sounds ripe for failure like it just it doesn't you grow, you evolve. The same person that you married, the same person that you met when you dated, when you fell in love, is not the person that you're gonna be with over the years. Like yeah. people change month to month, people change year to year for sure. Yeah. And, and, and as they, people evolve, you can't expect them to be locked into some agreement. So to me, I, I wanna be with a woman who can evolve over time and is okay with a little bit of uncertainty down the line. 
initially foundation develop it. I, I actually, I, I don't have time to be running around with a million women. I don't want mm-hmm. to anymore. And honestly, I, I never really was that guy anyway. I, I would love to lock something down. I just know that over time, like the agreement has to change. I believe in agreement. So say, like, and I actually don't care about certain things. I don't care if a woman I'm with is gonna occasionally make make out with somebody. I really mm-hmm. don't care. What about if she has an OnlyFans page? Oh my god! <laughs> I mean, look, if she, you know, if she has that. Uh, I, I try to stay away from that. But to me, <laughs> well, what like, she's making fifty k a month. Mm-hmm. I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at the husband. <laughs> no, I, 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 if she if she's an amazing woman, I, I, I'm feeling it. Like whatever. I, I really, I, I'm open to certain things. Like mm-hmm. it just it doesn't matter every every time. I don't need you to be a standard orthodox person. That's right. the main thing. As long as we can come up with a deal. Even I'm cool. I, I can see me down the line being with a woman with even if it's my wife. And striking an, an agreement where she can be with other men as well. Mm-hmm. Like I don't, I'm not tripping off that. That shit doesn't kill me. What I care about is that we hold each other down. Uh, we we support each other. We're there when we need. We know that none of these other relationships are as strong as ours. Y'all, I don't know if y'all watch House of Cards. I do. When, yeah. When it was popping, um, mm-hmm. and and you know their relationship was weird, the Underwood family, but no other relationship that they had because they were like polyamorous, um, no other relationship could penetrate theirs mm-hmm. for most of the show. Right. And that's that's kind of how I, I look at it. No matter what, the foundation is the foundation. But I do feel like sometimes there's always signs of weakness where you feel like um, maybe the other relationship starts to make you feel better than that one. And I think that's where yep. a woman is yep. always going to feel a way about. Because that's kind of like when a woman brings another woman into the bed for a threesome. And Mm -hmm. it's like, okay, I want a threesome. You want a threesome? Cool. Now we do the threesome. And then what happens? The man goes out and impregnates the girl on the side and, you know, something like that. Or or the woman falls in love with the other woman, too. Yeah, but nine times out of ten, it's always the man that messes up, goes behind the back, and ends up getting the side chick or the threesome girl pregnant. Or it's fucking her behind the back. So that's what the problem is. I don't think it's ever that women will look at it like, we won't ever accept something like that. I think it's like when it comes to things like that and you're like, all right, well, say you kiss somebody. Cool. I don't know about it. Next thing you know, she's your wife, too. Then that's a problem. You know what I mean? And I don't know if that's the conversation you're having with them. Like they're just going to be somebody that I fuck here and there. Or is it like I'm getting another girlfriend? I'm getting another wife. You know what I mean? Yeah, you got it. I think you got to be up front as, yeah. as possible. That That's the main thing. One thing I found out is if you can be up front women are much more not like not like they're going to agree with everything but they're much more open than right. I think men, you never men know what do. a woman will agree to she might be yeah. like hey right, i'm down with that i'd rather know than yeah, you she, do it yeah, anyway or or she'll be like look i'm glad you told me that but i don't ever want to know and make sure there's a week in between anybody you fucking with and only on the road and don't fall in love like, right. I, and, and no anal. Idea. That's very specific. This no anal. Oh, and no anal. The most know, specific just, was Angelus. I was just coming up with rules. No, I would be like, you can't eat her pussy. That would be a rule, and and you have to wear a condom. Like to me, those are more important mm-hmm. rules than anything yeah, else. Yeah, I feel you. I feel you. You guys like, are in these three thousand eight relationships, man. No, man. I'm not saying I'm okay with that. But I'm saying if those were more so something that somebody laid out, other than them just going behind your back and cheating right. on you, at least they're giving yeah. you an option. Better, right? That's yeah. That's, that, that, I agree with that. And you can't buy her no gifts. You can't buy her no gifts? No, ain't no, no <laughs> you can't buy her no pizza. But I think also getting tested, you have to get tested within like a certain range too. Because mm-hmm. I mean, I, I've obviously worked out different agreements and I, I made see. sure. I don't, the, wor- the worst thing to do is, or the worst feeling to have is, feeling like you put a woman's body and health at right. risk and she didn't know it that's so the first thing I, we say too yeah yeah i've always made sure to get tested mm-hmm. and and that's how you know what i mean i've i've inshallah i've, I've remained disease free um very refreshing 
Yeah, that is. Now, last question before, I, because I know, you know, we're almost at an hour. This is only supposed to be half an hour. <laughs> but what would your rules be if a woman could see other men? Like, what would you tell her the rules are for her to be able to do that? Uh, here, here's a little trick. This is, I've one? noticed that the more open I am, the mm -hmm. less the woman wants to go out and, and be with a million people. If I'm like, yo, I, I, here's what I care about. Right. Um, I only care about that you're, you're safe, you get tested. Um, if you start to have developed feelings, just tell me early. Like, I'd rather have that early. I just want to know up front. Um, I actually like to know, I like to know the, the guy. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, I oh, know. Really? And that, might, and that might be some control shit, to be honest. Like, that might be some territory shit. What is it I, like? You know, did that not hear you, Diddy? Here we go, Bell Beckham Sean, Jr. You're familiar Sean, with Drake. Nice to, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know Drake, right? Drake, nice, to, <laughs> nice to see you. Huh, I didn't know. Uh, you know I didn't know y'all you know had a thing. That sounds like that sounds like a reverse psychology tactic. <laughs> right, yeah, 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 cool, cool. That's, oh, that's why you gotta get his ass back. I prefaced it with that. It is a little. Psychology. But those, my, my rules are simple. Like I just don't, I would like, I, I feel confident in, mm -hmm. in, in me and me and her. I, I know that what, how I am, I'm unique enough for her and she's mm -hmm. unique enough for me. So I'm not really threatened by, right. by anybody. Um, I just need, I just need it to be safe and I need it to not be um, like, I, I, I wanted to know, I want to know what it is. So mm -hmm. if it's developing into something more than just, casual sex or something just right. like protect my heart don't just protect my body protect my heart right. like you can't be going I, on movie dates and watching insecure together oh that's my man's song you heard it on that episode. yeah if, if, they if they're watching in a insecure together, <laughs> oh shit <laughs> like, on tiktok, TikTok they on tiktok yes yeah. TikTok. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. that's it i think honesty on the front end is, is, is everything but here's right. the thing about honesty on the front end it takes some time, like I said earlier, it takes time to process. Mm -hmm. I've realized like, and if you date like an introvert, it's even worse. Cause they, they won't even tell you for, for months and months. Right. And so I, I used to do this thing in relationships that I got from this book called The Spirit of Intimacy where every month we would have this ritual together. Like we would put candles in the circle, we'd be butt ass naked, um, back to back and we would, Lay Sacrifice. out. Yeah, yeah, a lamb. Yeah, a lamb. Chicken or a lamb. <laughs> yeah, That's how I got famous. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that, you got to do that. So once you give your sacrament to the ancestors, you talk about your relationship. Mm -hmm. And you talk about things that you may, uh, it's a safe space, basically, for y'all to, to express this. So that way, every month, no matter what, y'all have a space where y'all communicate. And, and that, when I did that, my relationships were so strong. And when I failed to do that, that's when things got weak because that resentment starts growing because y'all y'all don't say some things that happen halfway through the month. Mm -hmm. So I think, put, put, yeah, putting those practices in are huge for relationships, especially if you're dating an introvert. All right. Well, we appreciate that. It's always a headline, in a always a headline coming from Jadeka. <laughs> that was amazing. That sounded really good. <laughs> Get naked and put your candles in a circle. <laughs> He's going to be like, damn it, oh I just wanted God. to talk about my music. Oh, and my God. God. <laughs> that should be your next listening session. Like, just have everybody sit in a room butt naked. Like, <laughs> listen to the album. Who was last night? <laughs> Well, Tadena, we appreciate you so much and I always appreciate your honesty and fun conversation. So we'll be following and making sure we tune in to your page right now to hear everything you're talking about. And you have your book club. I was telling you I have a book club too. So, you know, I love that. So we'll do a combination yeah. one day. Yeah, we might do that. I might bring you on. Our, ours is called The Lit Review, uh, mm -hmm. Black Men's Book Club, hosted by Intoxicated Uncles. Um, so I would love, I would love to have you on for sure. So thank you for bringing me on the lip service. Thank y'all for keeping it a hundred and lying to me. Uh, but I wish y'all well uh, you keep it with, with your partners and your lovers. You know, All I don't right. know if y'all got quarantine bays, but I wish y'all well. Yes. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. <laughs>